Hey everybody, it's Joel Irway with dailyfeexamprep.com and in today's video we are going to be teaching you calculator hacks. Uh, this is the first video in the series um, and uh, we are going to be solving for unknown variables with logarithmic functions using a calculator so we can do it quickly and more accurately. Big shout out to Frank who recommended this on uh, my content request blog or my content request form. If you have any problems or if you want me to solve a problem that you don't know how to solve what, with relation to math, statistics, probability, and calculus, shoot me an email and let me know. So let's get right into it. So the goal for this series is to help you score higher on math-related subjects uh, for the FE exam. Um, I want to help you become more efficient and to solve these problems in less time and help you become better at using the tools available to you for the Fundamentals of Engineering exam. So the overview for this problem, uh, like I mentioned before, we are going to be solving for an unknown variable of logarithmic functions using the Casio FX115 ES+. Plus. This is the calculator that I recommend to all of my students, and I recommend it in my book, 30-Minute EIT, How to Pass the FE Exam Without Beating Your Head. And uh, I like it because it's got a ton of functionality, um, multi-line displays, and can solve a ton of calculus, um, statistics, probability, and math problems. So if you don't have one, I highly recommend this one. So my advice, um, I want you to use this as a way to check yourself. I always recommend that you should have a general understanding for how to solve these problems and just use the calculator to solve it faster and more accurately. It doesn't do anybody any it doesn't do anyone any good if you don't really understand these problems. And I'll show you in this problem why you should have a general understanding to use this calculator. So let's get to it. So the problem today is solve for x. Um, with log of the x to the base 3 minus log of x minus 4 to the base 3 is equal to 1. So we want to solve for x. Now this sample problem is directly pulled from sample problem video number 12 uh, of the math section and logarithm, logarithms number 2. Uh, that's the title of it. So if you want to go figure out how to solve that, I suggest that you watch that video. So in this problem, we will be using the solve function of the Casio calculator. Okay, so the first step that we want to do is we want to make sure that the calculator is in the right mode to input the formula. So the mode that we want to be in is math IO, math output, and the comp mode. So to do that, we want to hit the shift button, then the mode button, and then hit 1 and 1. That'll get us into the math input output mode and the math output mode. Okay, so we want to get that math input output mode because we want to get the log button to show up as a natural display, just as how we were to write it on paper. Okay, so next we want to set the calculator into the comp mode. So the way that we do that is just hit the mode button and comp is option number one. So hit mode one to get into comp mode. Okay, step two is we need to know what format the calculator, ne the calculator needs to solve these types of problems. And uh, that is just going to take practice. So hopefully these videos will be good practice for you. But as I'm about to show you right now, you have to input the form as a, uh, as a, simplified, um, as a simplified format um, using the basic log rules that I discussed in the video. So we'll have to input it as log of x divided by x minus 4 to the base 3 is equal to 1. So we can't input it as it's written in the, in the given problem. We have to simplify it. So step two is we want to input the formula just as I've shown here on the photo. So this is how it's going to look like on the Casio. So how do we do that? Well, here is your stroke function. So once you get into those modes, all you need to do is hit the log button, which is on the top right hand corner of your calculator, then hit three to define your base value. Then you want to hit right to move it inside the parentheses, hit the alpha button, the parentheses button, which is your X variable, then divide it by uh, your parentheses button so we can uh, close that function. Then hit the alpha right parentheses button again to define X, then hit minus four, close those parentheses, and then move over to um, basically input our equal sign and one. So then we hit the right button, hit alpha calc one, then hit shift calc and equals. Okay, that shift 
calc button is our solve function. Okay, so we want to use the solve function because we want to be solving for an unknown variable. So that's what's going to tell our calculator that we want to solve for x. Okay, so it's going to ask you, um, you know, do I want to solve for x? And obviously you hit yes, so just hit the equal sign down there. So it'll spit out the answer for you, which is 6. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful for you. Please send me your questions just like Frank did. Um, you can send them to me at topics at dailyfeexamprep.com. I love solving problems for you, hopefully to make your lives easier. Um, if you like this, please like it and share these videos on my YouTube blog um, and share it with your engineering friends so we can build this community to be the best higher education engineering resource out there, particularly for engineers who want to pass the FE exam. So comment below and let me know what you think about this video. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video.